throw three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities. Spring time. Yeah. Plus three clever projects. And you've got a crap show that'll have you saying, that's clever. I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to That's Clever. Crafters often combine multiple mediums to create the right look for their artwork. Like this artist from Connecticut. He's using wood, paint, and clay to transform a basic brick into a craft that really has some teeth. Hi, I'm Richard McCarlo from Derby, Connecticut. I'm going to make a mythological city. Welcome to my studio in the base of my home. This is where I'm going to create a mythological city. Picking the right brick to call is like choosing a melon. you got to listen to it. It's got to have that dull sound. I'm going to grab my colored pencil and get to sketch the cat's body. I used to be a cartoonist, so this kind of comes naturally to me. My design is all set. Now I'm ready to mark out the areas that are going to be chiseled out. I'll use a different colored pencil. This will determine the areas that will give it a three-dimensional look. And I'm all set. I got my chisels, and now I'm going to start carving the kitty. I start off using my stone chisel. This one is used for deep gouging. There isn't really any secret of chiseling brick, just have a little patience and a little bit of tenderness with a hammer and chisel. The carving is now complete, now I'm ready to lay on the clay. To make sure the clay adheres to the brick, I have to wet the surface of the brick down with some water. You use a nice wad of terracotta clay and slather it onto the uh, brick surface to make kind of a slurry or a slip as potters call it. I have to make sure I get into every crack. This terracotta clay is a special air-dried clay. I throw it in the oven to speed up the process. Once the brick is coated with slurry, I'm going to start sculpting the cat's body features. I sculpt with the legs. I have to make sure things are really um, connected by rubbing the edges down. Now I'm going to grab my clay tools and define the areas a little better. I'm going to start to carve the floor down now. I'm now going to add the tail onto the side of the brick. I'm carving fur detail with my cheapo clay tool. I use plastic ones because I break the wood ones. Now I'm going to add the face. These are going to be ears. I'm going to add some facial details. I'm going to add some jewelry. Nice big gold neck. An earth sound cat can never get away with wearing this much blame. The eyes are going to require some special attention, so I actually got to use my metal tool to surgically add them to the face. Now I'm going to work on the eyelids so he doesn't look quite so surprised. I don't want to look like this. I'm satisfied with the look of my mythological kitty, so now I'm going to put the brick in the oven for about 4 hours, 110 degrees. This way the plastic eyes don't matter. This brick has dried four hours in the oven. Now I'm ready to apply a base coat. I'm using white paint mixed with a little bit of blue paint to give it a celestial look. I like to use acrylic paint because it dries so quick. I'm going to switch my smaller brush to get the detail on the eyes. The reason why I love creating these unusual sculptured bricks is it encompasses every aspect of art. Sculpting, pottery, painting, you name it, it's in there, even whittling. Once the white paint dries, it only takes a couple minutes, I'm going to add the pink nose and the ears. I'm adding shadows with light blue paint. I'm painting the base of the brick yellow because mythological kitties love yellow bases. Now I'm ready to paint the celestial sky. When my background is dry, I'm going to take my 18 karat gold leaf pen 
and add some real wing to the blank. I've gone ahead and finished off the rest of the celestial kidney brick. I added some swirly whirls, some stars in the celestial sky, but the cat needs wings. It's going to take some big wings to lift this baby off the ground, kind of make them out of wood. To get the proper shape of the wings, I use my cardboard template and I sketch it onto a piece of basswood. Now that my wings are traced, I'm going to cut them out with my scroll saw. Safety first. The reason I use basswood is it's easy to work with and it's very strong. Now I'm going to draw on some feathers. I'm going to whittle these lines out. I've gone ahead and painted the wings. I added detail in gold leaf pen and inserted dowels so they can attach properly to the brick. I'm going to add my completed wings to the mythological kitty. I drilled holes in the side using a masonry bit to accept the dowels. Gee, 